Thank you, everyone, for coming again today to Tiff Bell Lightbox this morning as part of our retrospective, Roberto Benini and Nicoletta Bracchi, A Beautiful Life. Uh, did you enjoy the film today? Oh, well. uh, to learn more about the making of Johnny Stacchino, we're extremely honored to have our special guests in attendance here today. Uh, actress and producer Nicoletta Braschi is a frequent collaborator of her husband, director and actor Roberto Benini, and director Jim Jarmish. She has worked with Benini since 1983, starring and acting opposite him in the films Tu Mi Terbi, Johnny Stacchino, and Life is Beautiful, a film which launched her to international acclaim. Her performances have earned her a David Di Donatello Award, Italy's highest acting honor, as well as a Screen Actors Guild nomination. Roberto Benini is one of the most acclaimed Italian screen actors and directors working today. He began his career at age 20 working in experimental theater uh, in Rome, and he went on to write, direct, and act in plays and films, making his directorial debut in 1983 with Tumi Terbi. Among the films he has written, directed, and starred in are the Oscar-winning Life is Beautiful, which also was awarded the TIFF People's Choice Award, as well as the Grand Jury Prize at Cannes. As well, uh, Johnny Stacchino, which you saw today, The Little Devil, and The Monster. He is also known for his memorable comic performances in J uh, Jim Jarmusch's Down by Law and Night on Earth. So please join me in welcoming the stars of Johnny Stacchino, Nicoletta Braschi, and Roberto Benini. Um, I'd also like to welcome to the stage Alberto Diamanti, who will be helping with uh, translation today. He also helped with the soft titling of the film uh, this morning. Um, so thank you both for such an enjoyably funny and delightful comedy, uh, and for joining us here in Toronto for this celebration of the retrospective. Um, we, we began last evening with a very warm and, and memorable start to the retrospective with Life is Beautiful, and today we, we take a uh, a sharp comedic turn with with Johnny Stacchino, and so um, I, I wonder. First, first of all, the film uh, showed at the Toronto International Film Festival in two, 1992 uh, as part of our Contemporary World Cinema program. So it's almost 25 years since since Johnny Stacchino premiered. Um, how does it feel to revisit these films uh, here in Toronto w with these audiences? Ah, yeah, well, this was uh, the, for me the question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, because uh, I feel, uh, you know, <laughs> I was just telling to Nicoletta Braschi there, uh, hearing the music and the, and the titles, you know, I was just telling her yeah, exactly this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel here in Toronto again uh, about uh, 25 years uh, after, no? Right. Uh, but I didn't uh, did answer to the question. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, I, 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 you, 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 you know, it's, it's impossible to us because it's, uh, what is this word? Unfathomable, unfathomable, <laughs> unfathomable feeling. You know, impossible to, to show to you, to convey the feeling. By, I have a lot of feelings. I really, <laughs> believe in me, a lot. Believe in me, uh, uh, Keith. <laughs> a lot of feelings, a lot. Thank you. I answer it now, yeah. <laughs> For me... Thank you very much. It's such a sweet feeling, very, very deeply uh, warm, because it's an old movie. We were kids when we made it, uh, and um, well, not really kids. We were, <laughs> I don't remember thirty, but um, we, it's a movie. One of the movie we made. How many movies? Seven together. But it's it's a movie we really love. We really love, and it, it was funny making it. And there is a huge. I can make the spy, actually. There was a huge work that Roberto made, uh, in part in, big part himself, some with the co-writer, because to make this funny movie, it seems easy, easy when you watch them, but the uh, work in the back is huge. And uh, what I know that he, I shouldn't say that because you don't feel it, that there is a big work, but uh, because we are here to talk honestly and deeply about it, uh, I can tell you that each uh, little part takes huge, huge work of thinking, of thinking of constructing, 
uh, that is a, uh, and it's usually it's more difficult to do this than drama. This is request even a, a, a big effort. Right, and it, it does look effortless on the screen, the, the physical comedy, and um, I, you both have theatrical backgrounds. Uh, how difficult is it uh, to create comedy for the screen? Because on stage, you know, you have an audience who can respond to, you know, the the, the, the jokes or the or the sight gags. But in, when creating a film, you you don't have a, a feedback in the same way. How how do you know uh, when moments are, are funny in the film? Do you have to wait for the audience to screen it? Well, thank you, uh, Kate. I I think uh, you know. Uh, whenever we are acting, and wherever, we are, we are doing a making theater, mm. always. All, uh, when we are making, which is very, you know, uh, better than I know, that uh, uh, movies is the opposite of theater. Really, on stage and uh, on screen is the opposite. But there is a point in contact. They connect, uh, and they, that... Uh, it's impossible when you are acting or you are acting for the troupe, you know, and this theater. When you are acting, they are now again trying a, a motore, azione, action. And then, you know, the, some, somebody is there, you are, you are doing for this eye. This eye, is, everybody is uh, like a platea, like this, you no, know, uh, looking at you. I think every time you are acting, you are doing theater. This is uh, so, uh, also, if, if I repeat, it's the opposite. But uh, there is no difference in, uh, in, for me. In, in this moment, I, I am making theater. I am making theater for somebody alive in front of me. Also, with, uh, w when, I'm, when I'm acting in uh, cinema. So the crew is, can be helpful in that respect. The crew or the eye of the, the, the camera, you know. This is the eye of, of uh, uh, the entire world. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and so uh, you co-wrote it with uh, Vincenzo Cirami. And, and where did the idea for, for Johnny Stacchino come to be? It's, it's in a comic tradition of, of mistaken identity and doubling. And did you start with the scenario or the characters? Very, very ancient because uh, the style uh, comes from uh, uh, an, an, a Latin author called Plauto, 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 how do you say Plauto? Plautus, yes, Plautus. Plautus. Eh? Plautus or Plautus? Not Plato, but Plauto. Plauto. Yeah, Latin uh, auto. So, somebody suggested the wrong thing, so I got confused. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Plauto is a Latin auto, the Amphitrione, Milus Gloriosus. It's, it's a big, big uh, uh, auto of uh, comedies in the, during the Latin, you know, uh, Latin, so Romans. Um, so, uh, comes from, uh, so, the, uh, Lo Scambio di Persona, how do you say? The, uh, Comedy of uh, uh, mistaken identity. Mistaken identity and the uh, commedia degli equivoci. Uh, yeah, misunderstandings. Misunderstandings. Uh, this is uh, full, really. It, there is uh, many, many interior rhymes of, uh, and uh, I must say, uh, the idea of the movie comes uh, uh, from a tragedy. So uh, this, the idea was uh, Vincenzo Cerami, the screenwriter. Uh, he was talking to me about an idea. He was uh, uh, writing a book about a mafia guy, real the story, uh, who che si era pentito, uh, who repented, who repented to be a mafia guy, and was uh, he, he was uh, trying to write. Uh, he was writing a real tragedy, a very serious drama, uh, realistico. So della, Political, really. and I told him why we don't try to put this in a comic way. So you see that uh, you know there is a little little line separating uh, drama and uh, you know the right. yeah yeah it's very very little. Everything can can be switched in in yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. mm, please. <laughs> I want to do for the second time, for the second time, time the spy, because of working so many times together. So I know very well uh, how he works. Is it actually a natural comic talent, and so he has a gift that is just his own. And on top of that, he works so much. Like 
every every day. It's very very when he makes a movie. I'm talking all, all, only about the movie, of course. It's, <laughs> of course, it's, no, it's, it's so so uh, deeply um, uh, trying to find solutions, seeing always to skip the common. Uh, cliches. Yeah, trying to skip the cliche and going always aware of that, going over and over and making more than one reading, one, t one on top of the other. And I think you can feel that from the movie. Yeah, you, s you certainly can. And the, the kind of comedy you describe, it, you know, it brings up Buster Keaton and, and Charlie Chaplin and oh the Marx Brothers <laughs> and, and Roberto Benigni. <laughs> And and um, at the time, you know, the early '90s, uh, the film was such a tremendous success. It was the, the highest uh, grossing film in Italy at the time. And uh, in the early '90s, the police were starting to to crack down on organized crime and 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 uh, corruption. Do you think audiences were ready for some comic relief uh, around the mafia and and the dark kind of violence? Oh, this is really a, a good, uh, very smart i mean because uh, i remember that uh, when johnny stecchino came out after one year the the boss of the anti-mafia italian was uh, grasso which is uh, he was the uh, uh, commissario capo anti-mafia he, he was the chief anti-mafia anti anti -mafia, uh, commissioner um, he, he said he said uh, that Johnny Stecchino said there is only one movie to see against mafia for young people, and this Johnny Stecchino because it was re ridic <laughs> ridiculizava. Ri ri he was ridiculing. Ridiculing mafia people, <laughs> especially the scene by them asking the animals. No, <laughs> mm. <laughs> so uh, the Grasso, the the, the 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 boss, the chief of the anti-mafia, said you have to see and see again to the little school to everybody because you know if you see, for example, movie very series uh, of uh, wonderful authors, uh, no, I, I, there is uh, many, many films about the mafia, they, they, they can create a sort of, uh, you know, you can fall in love with the style, no, with, uh, but here they, it's really ridiculous, no, they, they, so, uh, it's, uh, so I, I was very proud about this, uh, and also because uh, the success of the movie was unexpected, so big, ma they were so in love with this movie. Uh, we, me and Nicoletta, we couldn't you know. I have like a brother and sister <laughs> come here like like a son. Uh, so you know, a family. We couldn't uh, walk in Italy. They they loved so much this movie in a simple, simple, popular way. Really popular way, very popular. And I must say, you know, uh, okay, no, there is some other questions. So otherwise, I'm too long. Thank you. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> I, just to, to follow up on that, uh, we'll see throughout the retrospective, the films, um, your incredible use of comedy to approach dark subject matter, um, right. you know, to, and to um, really uh, interrogate uh, places of authority, government, religion, and, and the mafia. Is, uh, is this a comic philosophy of, of being able to, to use comedy to approach dark stories and to, and to tell them in... In a, in a light way to help to help kind of bring up social issues? I think so, but uh, for example, uh, you named Charlie Chaplin on Buster Keaton, or, or uh, this, uh, Charlie Chaplin very often he used a very, very tragic, uh, you know, uh, for, for example, uh, the great dictator or, uh, well, every, or also uh, the kid, uh, or it's a very tragic story, you know, it's, it's uh, no, switched in, in, a, in a comedy, but, uh, uh, so, but Charlie Chaplin is uh, our prince, our king. You know, for me, is uh, naming. It. And, and anyway, I think you 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 are, you you are right. You are right. What you said, I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, and Nicoletta, um, the character of Maria is is so wonderful because, uh, of course, Dante and Johnny are larger than life and and grab our attention. But Maria is is the mastermind behind the whole plot and eventually orchestrates Johnny's death. Um, how did you first approach playing Maria and, and how does she stand out in, in the characters that you've played? Um, usually um, when he uh, thinks of a movie, there is always something that is very little uh, uh, 
special. I mean, it's, they're real, but with some slight, uh, um, uh, how do you say, difference with reality that that makes comedy, especially in these little devil and the monster. So in this case, my uh, um, uh, natural attitude to my work is to try to make it real to as much as I can. This is the only, the, this is the goal I try to reach uh, for uh, the way I put, I always try to work, but uh, in these cases, I, I feel my, um, uh, my duty, my task. My duty is, is to be very strict, <laughs> see. And in, and in Johnny Stacchino, it almost seems as if that uh, that that moment, that plot, that plot piece is is held up in the banana, which really is the the major prop that holds yeah, Dante's I whole was, universe together. Oh, well, thank you! I was so proud about this, <laughs> really proud uh, to to base Bazzari, to base uh, an entire movie in a de banana, in una, in in a gag, only one gag. Really, I was so proud because. It's, uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's easy and very, very difficult at the meantime, you know, because we, we, we know that uh, we're building this uh, around all this uh, in the, the entire, about uh, the gag of a banana <laughs> until the end. Me, still now, when I'm working on streets in, in Italy, they say, hey, Benigni, le banane, attention. Oh, it, this, I, I, I know it will be at the end of the life, but I, I repeat, it's incredible, the, the popular, the, the love for this movie, pop Popular, little boys uh, and uh, uh, grandmother and grandfathers, you know, <laughs> everybody, everybody. So it's, uh, but what was the question? I forgot. <laughs> No, the, you you answered it. it was it was about the banana about the banana it, yeah the right right yes, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of it. yeah when I had the idea about the banana I remember the moment this is so to 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 base everything on this I was really really it's, it's like you know a, a game of to to write this you know it was very very difficult in a way very because it's so precise the script really very precise. Uh, I want to ensure that we get time for audience questions. So um, we have microphones, and we ask that you please wait for one to reach you. There's a question in the front row here. Hello. Uh, I was wondering, how is it like working with Federico Fellini, and did you learn anything from, from that experience? Yeah, this this is not directed by Federico Fellini, oh, but... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> it's uh, well, about Federico Fellini. You know, uh, it's the Pope of uh, the Pope. When I have the name, hey, I do like this, and I and I, <laughs> and I kiss the hand. Fellini for me is uh, the greatest director in the world. Uh, it's enough the name, and uh, uh, was. Uh, but uh, you know, it's too much. It's difficult. Uh, I learned this because it's like to be in front of the sun. It's too 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 light. You know, or or or. Uh, or uh, uh, down with a cypress tree, something of the nature. Fellini, uh, it belongs to the nature. When, when he died, uh, I felt it was dyed uh, olive oil. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. Because for me, Fellini was part of the nature since I was a little little boy. Was well, you know, there is a, a new word for him, Fellinian. We say, you know, it's, it's a new word. So he invented the new word that is something that you look and this Fellini. And now we know, we can understand. So uh, I, I, I tried when I was working with him to learn something, but it was too much, too much, uh, <laughs> too much. It was too much. Brazilians would be like, like the wind. What, what do you learn about the wind? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, but you know, it's something uh, you know, really, really want. Thank you. <laughs> Signora Brasci, buongiorno. Uh, my question is, la moglie della giudice Catarata, so the judge Catarata, the wife, was that your mom? Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> just a question. No, my mom. No, my mom is uh, acted in uh, Pinocchio with us, uh, and she makes one second the lady that comes with the un amfora, come si dice? An amfor. An amfor. Uh, that is my mom. She's there. Buongiorno. Oh, come Posso parlare in italiano? Eh, innanzitutto volevo iniziare con una frase del uh, titolo di un film di Bertolucci uh, 
caro Benigni e Nicoletta vi voglio bene grazie. <ride> e grazie per aver portato grazie. grazie per essere portatori della lingua italiana con tutto Dante in giro per il mondo e in Italia grazie. io insegno in una scuola elementare qui di Toronto e proprio in questi giorni sto facendo vedere il film La vita è bella e un invito, se magari non ha niente da fare lunedì per caso, se può saltare sulla cattedra come faceva il... No, la... così, tanto. Io ho vissuto a Prato, ho, insegn... ho frequentato l'Accademia a Firenze, ho... ho vissuto a Narnali proprio, nei posti dove è stato girato il film. E... Brevemente la domanda... Uh... Ci sarà un terzo film con Jim Germosci. A me piace molto il film noir, quindi la, la carrellata nel caro, ben, caro Berlinguer ti voglio bene, poi nei film di Germosci. E si ha tempo lunedì di venire a scuola. <laughs> Grazie. Ok, so just very quickly I'll summarize. Dear Benigni, I love you. Uh, thank you for bringing Italy with Tutto Dante. Um, I'm an ele elementary teacher. Uh, we showed La Vita Bella. If you can come on Monday and jump on the desk for us. And the uh, question is whether, whether, whether you're going to make another film with uh, Jim Jarmusch, a third film. So uh, uh, yes, we, 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 are, we are thinking. Uh, no, I, I mean, uh, is, is it possible, but uh, no, it's not in our, in our, uh, our programmatura. It's not planned at the moment. Planned at the moment, but uh, we're still friends. Uh, you know, we, we never. Eh, non ci siamo mai persi con We never lost sight of each other. We never lost uh, sight of each other. We never lost I lost I sight. lost sight each other <laughs> with Jean Jarmusch. So uh, really we are close friend and we love each other so much that uh, you know it's really possible that we can make another movie together. And I hope because I I admire him a lot. Yes. Yes. Up here. Molto grazie per la bellissima film. Uh, my question would be, um, what advice would you give us to people who are just starting in the film industry? Like, uh, what would you say to us, like, could potentially make us better? Consiglio per chi vuole fare cinema, per fare un cinema migliore. Oh, what a question. You ask to me. If I could answer to this question, you know, I could, I, I, I could, I, 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 this is really difficult, but to give some advice. Uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, to work a lot, <laughs> because uh, when you say, oh, this is a uh, no, show business, uh, we, dice, a fare questo film ci siamo divertiti, si sente. We had a lot of fun. We well, had a lot of fun. Making the fun. Film. But it's, uh, it's the, the, the audience, they have uh, to have fun. When you are doing a movie, it's really very tiring, and it's, 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 I, I like it like this. You have to work. It's one of the most... Uh, uh, grueling. Più, lavori più pesanti. Grueling. Grueling, because uh, you, you work really from the morning at uh, 5 o'clock until the, the, the 11 p.m. The night. It's, it's something really... But now I don't want... Uh, there is uh, also anche un ritorno bello. Yeah, you, you, you get something back. You get something back a lot. But uh, I, I, can, I can say to work a lot, uh, to try, and uh, I like very much to work on uh, actors, acting, because I am an actor. So I like uh, uh, a lot uh, to, to care, uh, to, to pay attention about this. You know? For example, in Johnny Stecchino, I, there is a lot of uh, actors uh, that comes from uh, stage actors, actor. for theater very well known from Paolo Bonacelli, they know my uncle and uh, the minister are very, very well known uh, uh, theater actors. And, uh, and especially for comedy, I, I have to thank really Nicoletta Braschi because uh, I have, no, I, I must say that uh, this is, uh, thank you. This is a, a, a law, a law of comedy. If the uh, la protagonista femminile, the feminine, the, the female protagonist, the female protagonist, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, is if he is not there, is not a great uh, female protagonist, the comedy uh, collapses, falls. Collapses, falls. This is the law of the uh, business, show business of the the comedy of, of comedy. So and uh, for the 
female protagonist of my movies, of this movies especially, is very difficult because uh, my comic body uh, brings everything, uh, you know, in a, so the, the female protagonist has to, to stay there to uh, reportare tutto a terra. You bring a, friend, you bring a frenzied anime, right. animation and, and she has to anchor it down anchor to the ground. Anchor it down, reportare tutto a terra, dare il rhythm, the rhythm of every, of the total acting also, my uh, of, of, of everything, yeah, this is the, the equilibrium of the movie is uh, upon the female Rest protagonist. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes. So uh, this is my advice, to, to work a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Up here on the left. Um, is, is there a reason why you chose the name Dante for uh, a character <laughs> in Johnny Yes, Stick yes. <laughs> because, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, an because it was so, you know, this guy, so <laughs> it was such a, a um, guy così sperso, sperdu, così, uh, a wayward, semplice, uh, semplice, loser, simple, 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 when he said the name Dante, mm -hmm. so, <laughs> like a proud, like, the, <laughs> the, the most, uh, yeah. First off, thank you for coming down here and sharing what you know with us. Um, but my question is actually for the both of you. Um, it's more about the characters and your mindset while you were filming, because um, they're all very different in personalities. Um, Johnny is more conniving and evil and you know dark, whereas Dante is this bright and everything's perfect for me, whereas, and then Maria's very, you know, two-timing, I guess. I just wanted to know what was going on in your mind while you were filming and how you separated all those feelings and thoughts from each character the next. Allora, Johnny è machiavellico, un perfido. Eh, Dante invece è ottimista, la vita è bella. Maria invece tradisce poi il suo uomo. Quindi com'è che avete separato queste emozioni nel creare questa storia mentre giravate il film? Oh, oh thank you. Well, this, I think, uh, is a classic, you know, in order to make uh, the double, il doppio, no? Double. The double uh, was the black and the white, of course. Uh, so, uh, simply this, you know, is uh, the more uh, più lontani erano loro. Uh, the farther apart the, the two were. Apart, uh, the farther apart erano loro. The e me two, yeah. E meglio era per uh, il... Uh, Per il, per, il, per il pubblico, the insomma, better it is for the storia, audience, for the story. Storia, per la storia, questo semplicemente, sì. The greater the contrast between the two characters. Uh, anyway, there are always all parts of one person. It's like there is the front part and the back part, the light part and the, the back, the, the reverse. And uh, so for, for him, he had to do these two separate. And I had to do the same back and forth. Uh, to go to be in the same and do both, because uh, uh, of course uh, she's a double double inside character, so there is a kind of um, uh, like written uh, subtly written uh, uh, harmony in the composition of the uh, of the characters of the two uh, Johnny and Dante and Maria. It's like two and two. Anyway, oh. Grazie, so thanks. Maria embodies the duality that uh, that Benigni uh, splits into two characters. Okay. We have time for two more questions. There's one uh, right here. Scusa, scusa. Uh, mi chiamo Vitt Vittoria. Volevo solo dirvi prima di tutto che siete una coppia molto simpatica, molto bella. <laughs> e poi uh, ho notato pure nei film che fate, quando recitate, siete molto, diciamo, uh, la recita per voi è come arte, come poesia. E comunque la domanda che vi volevo fare è questa. Ho visto il film, a parte altri film, ma questi due spe uh, spe specificamente... La vita è bella e la tigre della neve, che sono due film bellissimi. In entrambi, in entrambi i ruoli che giocate sono abbastanza, specialmente quella la vita è bella, dove diciamo, lui alla fine muore, lei col figlio che, deve, che sta lì e che non lo rivede più. E poi nell'altro film, la tigre, eh, la tigre della neve, vediamo che lui dà tutto per farla ritornare in vita, per farla ristare bene. Come fate a, a, diciamo, a fare questi ruoli? così um, delicati, uh, intensi, a, a giocarli, cioè a, a non provare quelle vere emozioni che si ha quando si perde veramente una persona. 
specialmente se si sa che quella persona è, è la sua moglie o il suo marito, come fa a dividere quelle due parti? Ok, very brief, I'm going to summarize. Uh, I compliment you on your art and your poetry. I've seen the films, uh, The Tiger in the Snow is, and Life is Beautiful, and I just wanted to know how you can portray such intense, delicate emotions so realistically. Uh, uh, grazie. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart to you. Uh, so, so tender and gently to us. Thank you. But I think this is... Uh, uh, I, I don't want to use uh, the word normal, but uh, for... For example, in poetry, uh, all the poets, uh, they have to, you know, uh, when they, uh, when they wa want to convey an emotion, they have to be very friendly, very cold. Very cold. Very cold in order to, so this is the a law, the law of, uh, of uh, della composizione, della, composition. della creazione, of, of creation. Of creation. Of uh, art, uh, this is uh, you know uh, we must. Uh, so we have to be very moved when something happen. Then, if we want to tell, we have to be very cold in this moment. In this moment, very cold, uh, in order to be precise to to show this emotion. This is a contradiction. This is a, a mystery of the life. You no, know? it's a mystery of uh, the creation of poetry. So poetry. Every every poet when he is uh, when he is uh, writing something about death, about sorrow, in this moment he is thinking the way to be to be uh, per essere uh, più possibile per trasmettere nella maniera possibile. So è scientifico in quel momento. So he is rigorous and scientific in deciding how to convey uh, the right, proper emotion. Right. Yeah. He, he, of course. Uh, Prova quel sentimento profondamente. Ma in questo momento, ma in quel momento è uno scienziato freddo. But at that moment he is a cold, detached scientist. This is the, 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 the only way. Otherwise, if you if you go, uh, if if you oh, if I have to, to tell you something that happened to me emotionally, I say, oh, so, 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 and you don't understand anything. So yeah, stay cold, scientific, and to write and this, this, and this. This is the, the only way. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I thank you too. And um, mm, I wanted to tell you that uh, I don't mix. I try not to mix anything that is personal. Because when I work, I have to try to do that, to do the character, uh, that character, that uh, to build something that is cannot be me, so I'm not interested in me. I have already to use a lot of stuff that regards me, like my brain, my body, my nose, my hair. And so uh, it's enough. I, uh, I cannot avoid that, but that is uh, uh, all I give of myself. And then I have to do the character, only that. So I work, and that's it. I think there's a question in the back, and if we can get one microphone down to the front row here for the final question, that would yeah. be great. Hi. Uh, I just want to say that Maria has been one of my favorite female characters. Um, Maria has been one of my favorite female characters. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I also want to know where the idea of the minister game came from. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I just, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it doesn't exist, of course, uh, such an idiot game. <laughs> but I was, uh, I, I needed, you know, to this interior ride to come back when the real minister, you know, for the, so I started with this just to put in the mind uh, this, I love all just, uh, just uh, because it's uh, spectacular uh, to do that. I want something that to stay in the mind of the uh, audience. Oh, my God, I am the mother of the minister. Just this. Yes. It works. It works. Yes. The final question here. Uh, complimenti, Grazie. tanti auguri per tutti i film. Scusi, eh, faccio mi domanda in inglese. It, it's about, siamo um, studenti di cinema qui. And so when you start your project and you have the idea and then you write it, that takes how long? And then you start working with the actors. How long does that take? And then to go to actually shooting the film. So just to give people an idea from when 
c'è l'idea per la, il film e dopo scrivere e dopo eh, il lavoro con i attori quanto tempo ci metti e, per, per un progetto totale che de, cominci dell'idea dopo scrivere dopo lavora co, lavori con okay, we, we l'attore yeah, we got it. Grazie, uh, ma è una do this is a very very technical question and uh, uh, needs a very technical answer. Sure. Uh, normally for a, 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 a medium per un film medio, medio budget, uh, medium budget, medium film. budget film uh, it take to me take about three years. About three years, yeah, uh, uh, thinking the idea, having the idea, I, I understand. And sometimes, but uh, who knows? This it depends. Uh, sometimes you have a fulguration, no? You're a fulg thunderstruck. A thunderstruck. Mm -hmm. So uh, and, and they change the timing, but uh, uh, but normally about three years, yes, yeah, about three years. Thank you. Well, I, I think we can all agree that we are extremely thunderstruck by your talent mm -hmm. and your generosity. Please. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming, and, and please see the films this weekend.